this lecture we are going to design a circuit where two bcd numbers can be added and we can take an output in the form of the bcd number okay so let's come back to the basics okay bcd number is the binary coded decimals and it can be represented in four bits okay so from if you are having four bits so two raised to the power four it means 16 combinations are possible so zero to nine has been used here up to nine and uh, it means for zero we are going to be assigned zero 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 for one we are going to be assigned 0001 and for 2010 like this we will do up to 9 okay so we will use numbers up to 9 and 10 to 16 these are known as the unused state okay a to f in the hexadecimal so whenever if you are adding two numbers suppose you are going to be at 8 plus 8 in bcds so definitely your answer is going to be 16 okay in hexadecimal so this is one uh, zero in hexadecimal so in that case you need to be at six this is called correction factor so whenever you are getting a number which is not a binary coded decimal number then you have to add a correction factor okay so let's take one example Suppose Suppose we have to be at 76 uh, plus 65 so 6 plus 5 this is going to be whatever the output is coming that is going to be beyond the range okay so this is 6 this is 5 when you add you will get 11 okay but this is not a bcd number in that case you need to be at 0 1 1 0 it means 6 you need to add so this is called correction factor then whatever the output comes this is the bcd number okay again 7 is something 0 1 1 1 and uh, 6 is 0 1 1 0 okay again this output is coming 1 1 0 1 and you have to be at 1 0 1 1 0 6 to get it in a uh, uh, bcd range okay so in this way you can get this thing so why i want to tell you all those things because whenever you are performing the bcd numbers at least you should know how the bcd has to be performed why we are going to be using 0 1 0 because 6 are the in 6 unused states are there so we are going to use correction factor as the 0 1 1 0 and since uh, bcd representation required 4 bits that's why 0 1 1 0 okay again 10 to 15 are the invalid states and we need to be at correction factor 0 1 0 in case of the bcd additions okay now come back to the problem okay so whenever you are adding a bcd number suppose i'm considering plus five and a plus four these are the two bcd number i am going to be take the value nine so nine is a valid DC, um, bcd number okay so how you can add two numbers so simply you can add a four bit adder you can take okay four bit adder circuit you can take put c is equal to zero over here put one bit over here one number over here bcd number another bcd number here you will get the output okay that is good because everything is in the range you are putting one bcd number you are putting another bcd number over here okay and you are getting the output at this end so again come back to the another case where we are going to use 5 plus 5 okay so this is going to be 10 so this is not a valid bcd number okay because valid bcd number range lies in between 0 to 9 okay so in, in binary representation this is going to be like this 1 0 1 0 so this is not the valid bcd number in that case you need to be at 6 okay so here it it means that um, whenever you see this you will get 1 over here and you are going to be uh, sorry you are going to be 10 10 10 over here 0 over here and uh, again this is not a valid bcd number that's why uh, it is going out of the range third case is like that whenever you are generating one carry suppose 9 plus 9 okay so this is going to be 18 so if you see it will become automatically out of the range okay because whenever you see result over here now so what exactly it is it will come here 1000 this is the bcd number but whenever carry is generated one it means that this is out of the range again you need to be at six okay so whenever such thing is there you need to be add a correction factor and how this correction factor is coming out simply all the invalid state you need to be considered so come back to the k map and we will find it out what is the expression for this correction factor okay so these are the incorrect state okay you see these are the 10 to 15 these are the binary value of these states and we are find it out how how to design a circuit which can solve resolve this problem okay so first of all we need to find it out these are the unused state we need to understand how we can resolve them okay so again i i draw a k map and find it out the expression for this number okay uh, this is the something called correction factor okay i am considering c over here so again you are going to be take 10 okay i am going to be take 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay and if you try to solve this thing so you can take 
you make one quad over here and one quad over here so this is something one one this is one zero zero this is zero one one zero one zero again zero 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 one 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 zero so if you solve this problem so then your answer will come for this squared this is going to be s3 s2 okay plus again for this thing for this squared this is the common okay so this is something going to be s uh, uh, this is s1 again and for this one this is s3 okay again this is the correction factor okay so this is the correction factor whenever you will get these digits okay so then you have to put this correction factor and you will get all the all the values okay so again you can see this thing okay if you see uh, this number so you can find it out whenever these one one is there these are going to be invalid state okay uh, and again whenever this thing is there uh, if you see this number and this number okay so if you do the uh, end of this number you will get some output over here again you if you do this end of these two numbers okay you will get some output the above discussion we have done in the uh, recently so from that we can con easily conclude that whenever see this c out will come out okay c1 is going to be out or this is something as 3 this is as 2 this is s1 this is s0 okay again for this by using this s3 s2 okay you can take these two okay and make one and get from this thing okay again from this s1 and s2 you can take one more and gate okay again you can take this value okay and after making the use of these value now after getting this value simply what you need to be do you need to be or them okay from this or it means that whenever this or is there at the time you need to be at the correction factor so simply you need to be put here and here and rest two you can make it ground okay it means zero zero one zero there it means this is going to be add your correction factor one one zero one one zero one zero this is going to be add over here whenever one is generated either carry is generated first case this is the case when carry is generated in or for the or second case is there in both the cases this is going to be and this is going to be generate one you need to be at correction factor and whatever the output is coming we simply need to be connect them okay whatever these points in lines are coming now we need to be at them like this you need to be add them so you will get this thing you know so you will get some over here and this is going to be a carry so this carry is generated this is uh, ha having the carry of uh, bcd equivalent and this sum is going to be a bcd equivalent okay so, and keep in mind we are acting this number as a binary number okay so for c we are going to put equal to zero over here again and this is going to be bcd number one this is going to be bcd Two and this will provide the summation it will check it out the condition whether we are going to provide a valid or not according to that we are going to be generate one uh, high input which is going to be fluid as a correction factor and you will get out some at the end okay so in this video